hey best friends welcome back to my channel so i was scrolling on instagram and i came across this hair color and i wanted to recreate it um my hair is not styled like this um but yeah i just want to do like a similar color job and i think i achieved the color real good i think my color it might be a little bit more vibrant than the actual post but the hairstylist is actually tagged on this post right there you can see her name and yeah i just wanted to recreate this because i thought it was so bomb oh my god so yeah um to do this install or well this color job i did um have a wig from super b wig or superb wigs um and this is what the packaging looks like this is a basic stock wig it's a frontal 613 and i will have all the specs to this wig down below in the description box so the first thing i am going to do is i'm going to soak this wig in hot water regular tap hot water you don't want it i don't like to use boiling hot water because i do not want to process this wig even more and because this is 613 hair when you do use boiling hot water you do run a risk of you know over processing your blonde hair you run a risk risk of making your cap too small as well so um after letting it sit for about five minutes i am going to go ahead and wring it out and i am going to exchange my water with some new hot tap water and I'm going to use this cool blonde purple shampoo from um, Ion and I am going to tone this hair. So um, I feel like toner matters. The type of toner you knew use for certain wigs or certain blondes matter. So if you want that crispy white, I would not should suggest shimmer lights and I would not should suggest, oh my God, um, vanilla no yellow because vanilla no yellow is too deep all right and it'll definitely turn your hair purple and shimmer is shimmering sh oh my god shimmering lights is i don't know I, is i think that's a little bit too deep too and i just do not like that shampoo so um this shampoo is a little bit on the more expensive side but it is it's not as opaque as both of those shampoos and Vanilla and no yellow is a deep violet color, so you will run the risk of having like gray hair if you use that to tone your blonde wigs. And if you want a white, it's not gonna work. So um, I let I dump this wig in, in and out until like I, the entire wig is saturated with the purple shampoo, and then I'll leave it in there for two minutes and just let it sit. I'm gonna wring it out, and I'm gonna add a little bit more purple shampoo to make the water a little bit darker. As you can see it did get lighter so i'm gonna put some more purple shampoo in there i'm gonna mix it up make sure there's no clumps left in there because you do not want clumps in the water if you do those clumps will go to certain parts of your wig and you will have a overtonage in certain areas of your wig so you just want to make sure that everything is very um mixed thoroughly which i didn't do that i'm seeing this right now i see that little piece um but yeah and not just dunk it in and out so the thing about this with white hair white hair is not going to look white when it's wet at all it's going to look kind of like a champagne-ish color um you will have to let the hair dry in order for you because in order for you to see the true color because when your hair is wet no matter what color it is it's going to look darker than what it is but once you get to it like a champagne color you you almost there you almost achieved achieved a white color so the two colors i'm going to use is ginger and copper brown from adore and we're just going to do some watercolor so i'll basically put almost the entire bottle of the ginger in there oh and then i i definitely switched out my water to new tap hot tap water and you want to rinse out your wig to make sure all the soap is out of your wig with cool water okay so i did rinse my wig out from um the purple shampoo cool water so now we're going to go into water coloring and then i'm gonna put the, uh, the adore ginger in there and mix that all together make sure the lumps are gone and then i'm gonna just go ahead and, and water color the hair now how far up you want this color it just depends on your taste and yeah so um, I wanted mine a little far up because that's how the girl was wearing hers. My wig is a little bit longer than hers, 
but yeah, it really didn't matter. I did, I did want it, a, it to be a little bit high up. So um, I'm going to take the wig, make sure the lace is not touching that water. And I'm going to just dip the ends in and out in the mid shafts. And I'm kind of taking it a little bit high um, just because I, like I said, I did want my color a higher up. So yeah, you just want to continue to dip until you get the color payoff that you want. And I'm going to continue to do it until the hair is a deep ginger color for me. Make sure you don't get any color on the white hair that you want to keep white because it's easily stained. And like how I just set my wig down like that and I remember like, oh, no, 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 don't do that because I didn't want the top of my hair to have a tinge to it or to have be stained or anything like that. So now I'm going to take the copper brown and I'm using the same exact water. I'm not about to switch it out and I'm going to just pour basically almost the entire bottle in there mix it all thoroughly and then i'm gonna dip the ends in this again so you just want to do a, a ombre um to this um hair color situation and it just really came out super pretty so make sure you are not getting this on the lace or the white portion of this wig because that white will stain super fast it will stain super fast and you can see the the gradient right there and it looks so good and so like i'm just holding the wig open and just like tilting it back and forth just to make sure like it's not a harsh line of demarcation and i just want a nice gradient effect going with both of the colors and so that's basically what i did with this and so i'm gonna show you the um what it looks like after I did all the coloring and everything like that. And if you guys want to see me style it and install it, I will have the video link at the end of this video. Everything that I used in this tutorial will be linked down below in the description box for you guys, like always. And thank you, Super B or Superb Wigs, however you want to say it, um, for sending me this wig. I enjoyed doing this color. And this was the color payout after everything just like the little um instagram thing like i was like okay like i really did that color it was bomb um i might not have used the exact same colors that the hairstylist used but it was so close it was similar so i was ecstatic to put this on so i did know that i wanted a blunt cut because i didn't like the length that this wig was in so i just took my clippers and cut off the ends of this wig and just made it super blunt and super full Oh, I love the color that this came out. So you guys, if you didn't know, I'm not really good at styling or like curling hair. I'm still learning. So my curls didn't turn out how my um, inspiration post did. So um, yeah, but it still was a bomb color and I did achieve the color. So basically I'm just prepping the hair to curl. So I'm gonna cut a few layers in the front because you know, the curls just fall better when you do have a little bit of layering. I didn't want it too choppy because I did want to wear it in the straight blunt bob after I like after the curls fell out or if I wanted to rewear this wig again. So I didn't I didn't go really ham in the front when it came to layering. Um, I was just real light handed with layering. And after I put the layers in, I am going to go in with my Ion Curler. And I did get this from, ti uh, I was about to say titanium, um, Sally's. And if Amazon have this exact uh, 
curler i will leave it down below in the description box if not i will leave the link to the sally's um website and so you guys can see the actual product i have a couple of these and i actually love how they work so yeah i'm just gonna curl backwards um throughout this wig and just toss in some curls um yeah like I, i'm 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 getting the hang of curling curling is not my forte um i'm a silk presser like i could really silk out silk out some hair really good um natural hair um extensions it doesn't matter if you want that flowy bone straight thin like you know just effortless silky look i'm that girl to do that but i'm just getting the hang of curling i've been doing one of my friends um is a beautician and so she's been giving me like pointers on how to curl and everything like that so um i'm gonna get the hang of it it's just it's for me it's the flick of the wrist like you know when it comes to curling you got to know how to flick the wrist good and you'll get your curls how you want them and different and you curl differently to get, achieve different curls as well so like i'm curling backwards but sometimes people curl, curl under and that'll give you a totally different look my inspiration post i think the girl cur curled her hair underneath and that's the reason why she had a different kind type of curl than i did but yeah so i'm just gonna go through the entire wig and do this So after I put all the curls in there, I am going to take a wide tooth comb and just kind of comb out the curls and style it accordingly so I could go ahead and take my pictures because I did have to take pictures and I didn't want to just leave the pins or not the pins, but like the curls in the formation that they were in for picture purposes. So I did just go ahead and comb them out and just like, you know, just make it look decent for some pictures because i do like to post on pinterest too so i like posting my wigs and my color creations recolor creations that i or my inspo color creations that i do um back on pinterest so um i'm just making the wig look cute for pictures and then i'm gonna go ahead and install this unit All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take my liquid gold because this is my go-to lace adhesive to use when it comes to applying my wigs, just because I interchange my wigs a lot. So I like to use this because it's not a, like, you know, a horrible, 
situation when it comes to cleanup is super easy because it's water based and it's not like you know your regular bull hold extreme or bull hold max or bull hold active um this is just water based so if you put water on it it's going to dissolve and you won't have a mess and i love this so i'm just basically going to put it on there a thin layer rub it um like thin it out just in case if it was too thick because you don't want it thick because it will seep through your lace and that's what you don't want and then i like put the lace on top of it where i want it to sit and i will blow dry it on cool and then i'll go back to warm and then i'll go back to cool just to make sure that i got all the all the areas of it from being wet And after my lace is secure, I am going to go in with my eyebrow razor and just cut off the excessive lace. So I did pay for the Arrogante little online course and he was using like um, flat irons to do the baby hairs and I let me tell you guys that this was a genius move on his part and I had these little flat irons because I bought a pair of flat irons and these came with it and I was like all right well let me try these little flat irons because his baby hairs just became coming out bomb so I was like all right and so I started doing that on like some clients that I be doing and I did it on myself and I just I love the outcome. Like I just love it. It's so bomb. So um, I'm doing that. And then to lay the baby hairs down, I am using spritz. If you guys are interested in the flat irons, the tiny flat irons that I'm using, I will link, if not the same pair, uh, a, uh, a pair that's similar down below in the description box for you guys. But that's about it. Um, thank you, Super B Wigs, for um, sending me this wig to do this color tutorial. I really enjoyed this color. If you guys enjoy like color tutorials like this or like install videos, let me know down below or send me inspiration pictures and I could just redo them on YouTube just for you know more content because I do a lot of wig installs and color tutorials. So I wouldn't mind if you guys wanted to see how i would achieve a certain color but until next time bye best friends <laughs>